Good afternoon. Thank you for coming to our press conference. As you are aware, the BNAA, in conjunction with the Bermuda Olympic Association, are putting on a Women in Sports Expo. We have finalized our activities for the two-day event and have finalized our international star athlete for the banquet. The event will begin with a banquet on the Friday night, doors opening at 6.30 p.m. This will be followed by a Little Girls Rock One Mile Under 18 race at 8.45 a.m. on the Saturday, and then a 5K run walk over 13s will be included at 9 a.m. We have sent a special invitation to our past May 24 female winners and some of our top female road runners to participate in the 5K event. We are hoping that some of the local charities come on board and they can use this as a fundraiser for their charity. We are also looking for the schools and clubs that have female athletes to compete in the one mile run or even the 5K run walk. The races will start and finish at the Fairmont Hamilton Princess. The expo then begins at 12 noon with speakers and demonstrations. We can confirm our guest speakers for the expo. Paula Lewin, a Bermuda Olympic sailor. Angelie Forber Pratt, Paralympian. Jessica Lewis, Bermuda Paralympian. Chrissy Wellington, international triathlete. Pauline Davis, Olympic track medalist. Bonnie Bernstein, ESPN reporter. We will also be having a panel discussion, which will be moderated by our own Bremen Smith King, Asta Maynard, international athletics official, our own Teresa Porazzi, and the Zeofolia <laughs> women's rugby representative, Bonnie and Pauline, will participate in the panel. We will have booths set up throughout the day with hope, hopefully all sporting bodies promoting their sport and health stores, physios, Pilates, etc., promoting health and fitness. We just want to have all of our budding female sports enthusiasts to come out and enjoy the two-day event. We have women coming in from the Caribbean and the U.S. to attend the event, and we are excited day by day with the interest that is being shown. People can sign up for all of the events on www.racedayworld.com. Everything will take place at the Fairmont Hamilton Princess. I will now pass you over to our guest speaker, who is a WNBA MVP, four-time Olympic gold medal winner, played for the Los Angeles Sparks. She was a pioneer and cornerstone of the league during the WNBA career. And I'll now turn it over to you. Our guest speaker for the event is Miss Lisa Leslie. Go ahead, Lisa. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for having me. I'm so excited to come over to Bermuda. I have never been there, but I do have a few... Um, family members that live there, and I'm excited to have the opportunity to inspire and encourage um, other young women um, who are not just probably moms, and they work, I'm sure, but also have to balance, you know, fitness and taking care of themselves. So I really look forward um, to the opportunity to speak and ask questions and get feedback and really um, share my story um, as a professional athlete, um, it's not always easy trying to, you know, reach to that ultimate goal of winning gold medals. It's not always easy. It truly takes the village to raise a child, and I've had a great support, so I will have my mom come with me as well, um, who um, I'm very excited she'll be able to attend. Um, I, I look forward to um, this, this opportunity because I feel like it's really a blessing for me to be a role model. I've always wanted to be a role model since I was a young girl, and so um, this will, again, provide me that opportunity to touch the lives of people that um, I otherwise would not have had the opportunity to reach. So I'm very thankful to be the guest speaker. I look forward to meeting all of the women and um, doing a great job and hopefully leaving a positive, lasting impression where women can take the tips that I give them and go and apply them to their everyday lives. Thanks, Lisa. The, does the press, any of you have any questions for, for Lisa while we have her on the phone? I'll wait till she comes in. <laughs> they, Lisa, they said they'll wait for you yeah, to come. To see you. <laughs> okay, well, I'm excited. I look forward to it, and hopefully, uh, you know, the weather will be warm, right? We hope, yeah, we yes, Lisa, we're it will be. Not to them. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Well, thank you so thank much. You. Thanks, Lisa. We'll be talking. Okay, talk to you soon. Alrighty, bye. And now what I would do, um, because we have a title sponsor that has come on board, and I'm going to let Miss Brenda Dale 
give us the information on our title sponsor. Thank you, Donna. On behalf of the Argus Group, uh, we'd like to say that we're very pleased to be the title sponsor for the Women in Sport Expo. We're pleased to partner with both the Bermuda National Athletics Association and the Bermuda Olympics Association to put on this event. We um, totally, we actually look forward as being uh, not just the sponsor, but we'll participate in the event. And we're very excited about all the key people that will be there. And we look forward to promoting, furthering and continuing our promotion of health and wellness for not just the young girls, but all women in Bermuda. Thank you. Thank you, Donna. Um, the Bermuda Olympic Association is thrilled to be partnering with BNNA and, of course, Argus. You know, this initiative uh, is it has to be all credit to, to, to Ms. Watson, but it's something that the Bermuda Olympic Association has been wanting to achieve, uh, especially in the last four years. Uh, the speaker that has been announced can only motivate more young women uh, in our country to take up sport and look at the leadership role that they can play and how to develop their lives. So we're just so thoroughly excited and we wish uh, the committee who's done a sterling job uh, to put on this uh, expo and we're asking all young women to come out and support this event. I, they will not be sorry. So Donna, congratulations so far. Thank you, Judy. <laughs> okay. Any questions? Comments? Women in sports. Women in sports. How much, uh, how much support um, do you think from the wider community um, that this event will get? Well, I must say, Earl, um, so far we have several of the sporting communities that have female um, sport, sporting activities. Um, they are all, most of them are participating. They'll either have a booth or we're also having a mini fashion show. Some of them are having athletes participate in our fashion show. But right now we have several of the sporting bodies who are going to promote their, their sport at the booths, at the expo. So, and also most of them have come to me and said that they want to come and be part of the banquet. And I think once they hear who the guest speaker is going to be, I think we're going to be inundated with people wanting to register to come to this banquet. She sure is. She and, sure is. Um, how difficult was it to convince her to come to a place like Bermuda to take part in this event? Well, to be honest with you, it really wasn't difficult at all. Um, she was asked, fortunately for us, she was asked at the last minute, and that's a story in itself. Um, and she just said, yes, I will come to Bermuda. I'm excited. I've never been. And as she said, she told me last night she has family connections in Bermuda, um, some a family light burn. Um, so she said yes right off the bat. Um, so we were excited, you know, when we, when we got the news from her that she would come. And over the last two days, we've been just working on her accommodations, airline ticket. And so this has been two days. And as I said, she was excited when we called her and spoke to her about her coming to this event. I'd just like to add to what Donna said. I, I think the message that she's going to send that Bermuda will clearly hear, not only the government, but the corporate people of Bermuda, what it takes to be an elite athlete and the support that is required by the community to reach that goal of Olympiaism. And I think that message on the banquet night will be heard loud and clear. So I, the young women there will be inspired, but I hope also our government and the corporate sector will also be inspired, inspired to support all our Bermudian future Olympians. That's a question in itself. How much support <laughs> have you had from the government? We, we, do, we have received some support from the tourism department. We have received some sponsorship from the Bermuda Tourism Department. Now we have we basketballs played um, all over the island, women's league. Um, I guess now it'll be even a bit more <laughs> influx for the <laughs> ladies once they know that. Uh, what are the, what are some of the things you also want Alisa to do and the other uh, athletes to do in, on the island, just other than the expo? Well, basically, all we've, we've asked Lisa to do, because, because remember, we have, we have contracts with these athletes, um, and so we kind of have to be specific um, with what our requirements are. 
And for Lisa, basically what I've said to her is, you know, we want her to speak at the expo, take photographs, autographs, and so on and so forth. She has to fly out Saturday, but it's, it's late Saturday because she has to do, she does a, a show every Sunday on, a, on ABC. So um, I said to her, if she wants to come out on the Saturday, you know, at the start of the race, or if she wants to, you know, mingle around the expo, you know, talk to some athletes, talk to some people that are there, then I'm going to leave that up to you. But our contract is for her to speak at the expo, photographs at the expo, especially with our sponsors and, and autographs on the Friday night. Saturday night, we're leaving that open to her discretion. And all of the other athletes, they will be here for the, for the banquet. So they will all be here. And then on the Saturday, they will be speaking. And, of course, they will be... Again, taking pictures, signing autographs, but they will be mingling around um, talking to the participants and the, and the athletes and anyone that comes to the expo during the entire expo, which is from 12 to 6 o'clock. My final question. Although it's a women in sports expo, are you expecting or are you hoping that? Well, I think now that we've mentioned that Lisa Leslie will be here, <laughs> I have no doubt there will be men that will be coming to that <laughs> banquet, and we... We welcome men because I think, you know, most of us, you know, some of us will possibly be bringing, you know, uh, whoever their significant others are and so on and so forth. But, no, we welcome men. We would like men to come because I think it's a good thing for people to hear mm -hmm. what experiences do women go through in sports, which is different from what men go through in sports. So, no, this, this is a women's expo, but we also want men participation. Also remember the, the run on the Saturday is being organized by the men because we're all looking to participate. So they're going to be organizing the run, and we're going to be participating. I may even run a 5K, Earl. You say we're all going to be that, doesn't it? Yeah. I could run or I could walk, Earl. Uh, there you go. <laughs> I want to see you participate. Yes, I will be participating. Now, our committee, we all agreed last night, right, Brenda, yeah. that we will participate in the 5K, <laughs> run or walk. And I, I may attempt to run. We'll see. <laughs> You're welcome. How, uh, how, oh. how stressful was it um, making sure you've got your marquee speaker? Because it sounds like it's got a last minute thing. Or there's other no, it wasn't last minute. Or? No, it wasn't. Well, basically, what's happened with the, with the speaker, we've gone through um, numerous um, persons, and eventually we've reached, we've reached our final. And for some of the speakers, it was several of them that really wanted to come. Um, but due to other commitments, um, they were unable to come. But I, I have to say, I thank David Lambert. He basically is the person that I've been working with to, um, to get our, our guest speaker for the, for the banquet. So David Lambert is kind of responsible for this. But we've been working probably since December mm -hmm. trying to get speakers. And everyone we've asked said yes, but then they had another commitment. All the cost. Yep. All, right, all the cost. Mm -hmm. <laughs>